Okay, lesson 82 of A Course in Miracles is coming from a review section where we're reviewing a couple from before. So, lesson reviewing of 63, uh, the light of the world brings peace to every mind through my forgiveness. Uh, and uh, my forgiveness is the means by which the light of the world finds expression through me. My forgiveness is the means by which I become aware of the light of the world in me. My forgiveness is the means by which the world is healed together with myself. And I just want to um, go over this uh, section here. The light of the world, <coughs> Bessie, the light of the world brings peace to every mind through my forgiveness. I always see the light of the world, you know, the light of the world brings peace to every mind through my forgiveness. And here's the thing. So the Course, the course says that um, we're living in a world of fear and separation. So if you, do, if you do forgiveness, and for me, forgiveness, all that forgiveness means is release or letting go or surrender. It's like I'm angry at someone and it's a repetitive thought and emotion that carries on. And when all that forgiveness means for me is that I no longer think of that person and the emotions related to that person are 100% gone and they don't block the presence of the light. So that's all that forgiveness means, like surrender, letting go. So the light of the world brings peace to every mind through my, forg through my forgiveness. And um, my forgiveness is the means by which the world is healed together with myself. And here's the thing, which um, I always like to, um, at this point, quote um, the, uh, the research done by TM Meditation, Transcendental Meditation, whereby, uh, I'm paraphrasing it, don't quote me exactly, but there's research on the web, you can Google it. So they had about 4,000 meditators in Boston for, for a month, I think doing TM meditation, I think, twice a day for 20 minutes. And they predicted, because they've done this research before, that you know, statistically the crime rate in the surrounding area goes down when all these people are meditating. And the crime rate, crime rate the, the violent crime rate went down something like 43% while they were all meditating. Wow. In, and here's the thing, you know, like, um, uh, the, the Course in Miracles is like a, a pathway of the mystic. Just change your perceptions of the world and you are healed and the world is healed. It's just like, surely just clearing your mind of thoughts and accessing that stillness and peace has no effect. But actually, there's only, it's like, um, it's like the luminescence of the sun as you meditate. And actually everyone is affected as those rays. So, you know, it's like, there's the little group of TM meditators just going into silence and bliss. And there's a, you know, there was a violent criminal who was on his way to, you know, I don't know, maybe he's an axe murderer, on his way for his next axe victim. <laughs> and it's like suddenly something comes over him. It's like actually that his thoughts suddenly shift. You know, I don't actually need to axe murder anyone today. And, <laughs> and, and, and it just doesn't happen. You know, also, you know, probably in the centre opposite, there's a hotel. And there was this guy the day before contemplating committing suicide. Tomorrow's the day. Uh, I'll, I have to buy the rope at the local supermarket, get everything organised in the chair. And then suddenly it's like, no, actually, he gets another th thought. Actually, I'm not going to commit suicide. Actually, I think there is hope. So this is the immense power of releasing. It's not necessary to go out and stop, physically stop the ex-murderer and, uh, and forcefully attack him and render the axe off of him. It's not even necessary to run to the, the suicidal guy. Just by you doing the inner work, that is the thing. And Hawkins has done uh, research whereby, you know, something like an enlightened individual, um, someone at full enlightenment who's transcended the ego into those states of non-dual, uh, non-dual, um, non-dual beingness, those people who reach those levels uh, counteract, uh, counteract uh, the negativity of many millions. So that, you know, a TM meditator is just an average meditator, 
but an enlightened person by, by their uh, presence on the planet is already like stopping so much from happening. And the last one I'd like to quote, like why should one do this work is um, the very famous Dr. Hugh Len, who just cleared, and uh, if you don't know Dr. Hugh Len, you can look him up online, he's quite famous. He was just given, uh, I believe in Hawaii, or one of the places in America, the, um, the files of all the violent prisoners in there, and he just cleared his data, or I'd say just essentially did forgiveness work. And actually, this is true, a truth, this is actually truth, this, uh, I think. Every, every, the whole prison had to shut down because everyone got well and left. So, hence the immense power you know, like, like it, so what's the lesson? The light of the world brings peace to every mind through my forgiveness. So, me accessing the light in me is enough to heal the world. Now, here, here's the thing, a lot of the people, you know, like with Mother Teresa, you know, she sort of says, like, I won't, I won't go on a pro-war rally, but I'll go on a pro-peace march. But here's the thing, um, it's like a lot of what goes on in the world comes from the energy field of anger and, and trying to change bad people. And it's not a very powerful energy. So often if you change your perceptions of the world, um, yeah, you are bringing... You just imagine, you know, I would call Dr. Hugh Len a mystic. Without, without talking to all the individual prisoners just by forgiving their files of what they've done. This guy was an axe murderer. This guy liked strangling people at night. This person, you know, was, I don't know. So you just like clear your forgiveness and then these people get well. That's the immense power of um, entering the light within yourself. So, um, so suggestions for specific forms for applying this idea are let peace extend from my mind to yours. So let peace extend from my mind to Donald Trump. <laughs> let peace extend from my mind to uh, the rogue builder. Uh, with my father. So you, you just use that. And then I would, you know, connect to the peace. Because in truth, in, in the absolute realities, these things didn't happen. And actually, if you, because you're part of the collective, you're holding on to a pattern within the collective consciousness of, of um, humanity. And as you clear it in yourself, you're clearing that pattern out of, you're washing it out. So it's starting to make it weaker within the collective. Okay, so that's one way. So let peace extend from my mind to yours. I share the light of the world with you. So I share the light of the world with Donald Trump. Through my forgiveness, I can see this as it is. Through my forgiveness, I can see this as it is. Okay. So those, so those were the, the, uh, some of the suggestions for that lesson. The next lesson is a review of Lesson 64. Let me not forget my function. I would not forget my function because I would remember myself. I cannot fulfill my function if I forget it. And unless I fulfill my function, I will not experience the joy that God intends for me. Suitable specific forms of this idea include, let me not use this to hide my function from me. Well. <clears throat> If my if my function if my function is to be uh, the limitless the limitless beingness or the lim limitless peace or the limitless light, let me not use this. Oh, you, could, you could say let me not identify with this to prevent me from from my function or from being the absolute truth of what I am. So let me not use this. So let let me not use my thoughts. To hide my function. Let me not use my memories to hide my function. Let me not use my identification with the physical body to, uh, to uh, hide. Yes, the word hide is also quite interesting because actually when you identify, 
If you're the sun or you're, if you're the sky, if you identify with the cloud, it's almost like you're hiding the sun. It's not really true, but it's like you become the cloud and the sun starts to disappear. So as you identify with any type of cloud, with the body, with thoughts, with images, with stories, with past, with future, with drama, with making anything important within the world of form or that which changes, then it's like you're, you're hiding the truth. It seems like, actually the truth is never hidden, but it seems that way. So I'd use this as an opportunity to fulfill my function. So, okay, so if I'm identifying with thoughts, I would use my thoughts as an opportunity to fulfill my function by letting them go, by disidentifying or going to the observer of them. This may threaten my ego, but cannot change my function in any way. Ah, this is interesting. So this may threaten my ego. Well, the ego is only threatened or gets hooked into anything it's interested in. So if it's interested in thoughts or in feelings or in the body or in, a, in anger against someone, then um, the ego is threatened by that, but cannot change my function. So the truth of what I am, of my function, well, is meaning, is saying that when I'm in my function, I'm in my changeless nature. Because only that which is in the realm of change, or form, or, you know, seems to be able to threaten the ego, because only the ego can identify with form or change. So, my fu so to be in my function, I must be in the changeless, timeless, formless presence, or the beingness. So that's my take on these ones and um, I always think that that you know when it mentions that you know through the light the light of the world brings peace to every mind through my forgiveness it's it's like it's like an endorsement which is not which is misunderstood I think in most of the collective that doing in deep inner spiritual work you know if you're sitting if you sit in your room just doing self-inquiry for the whole day um, the world is not going to applaud you. <laughs> it's like, well done, you did your bit in saving the world today. You know, your mum's going to tell you, you know, what have you done the whole day? And your, your head's going to tell you, you know, well, I haven't achieved enough, I haven't been productive enough, I haven't earned enough money, I haven't, I'm not successful enough. So your, your ego's not going to applaud you, the world's not, your mother's probably not going to applaud you, but, but actually the immensity of um, just to imagine the immensity of like Buddha sitting under his tree would be immense or just Christ being alive would just be immense to, in, in the effects that, that, that would be um, emitted silently through the presence of the beingness <clears throat> okay